You guys, once again, I have fallen for another advertisement scheme. I've been seeing so many different ads from my best friend Jacob's BST called Octave. And after about the 30th time of seeing that ad, I figured, eh, why not? I'll just go in and get it. It's only like 30 or 40 bucks. So today we're going to be finding out if that was a worthy endeavor for me and anybody else buying the Octave VST. And uh, yeah, I did it again. I wanted to test out the VST before the video started and I already made a pretty dope loop off of it. But before I show you that, if you do enjoy this video, be sure to have a like down below. It helps me out a lot and subscribe for more future content. Now let's get into this video. So I started out by putting the Octave VST inside of my channel rack and then I went to the bonus MIDI files over here and grabbed Melody 2 and C minor. So here's where it was before and then I actually pitched it up to F minor and then put it down an octave. And then after all that, here's what it sounds like. But then just experimenting inside of the VST, I saw a little tab in the bottom left corner right here called poly, mono, and legato. And this legato tab really changed this melody. Really, that's actually really, really cool. <laughs> and then after really loving that melody, I bounced it over to a WAV file. And converting it into audio means I can manipulate the sample a lot more. And I don't know why, but I'm really hearing something with some gross beat on it. So I'm gonna put this over to Mixer Channel 1 and go see if we can add some effects. That actually does sound kind of nice. I want it to sound more like delay more than anything. That's good. Slowing down that time knob really helped out. But now I'm gonna be creating this automation right here and then manipulate that a little bit more. I'm gonna put this down to there and make this a hold right here. And then same thing up to over there. And I can put this over here like that. And this should work just fine. Okay, that's pretty good. But I'm gonna be going to the last one over here, making it unique, and then just delete this one. Didn't really do a whole lot, but it'll be there. You can probably hear it. And then I'm gonna be adding one more gross beat over here, just for the last bars. So we need to automate that as well. All I wanna do is grab that, maybe like right there. That'll be good. And like I said, we definitely have to automate that so it's only gonna be on the last bar. And then I think for this one right here, I'm just gonna be cutting this off. And I know that I do this every single beat that I make, but I, there's a reason for it. I just love it so much. Gonna be reversing that and then finding the part that I made. Much better, much better. I'm gonna try adding some reverb and see if that works. But then I'm actually dragging the reverb down below the second gross beat, that way the reverb will cut out how I want it to. Because if I had the reverb right here below this gross beat, then it would actually continue the reverb while I'm trying to make it stop, so that's not what I want. Now this time I am gonna have to be recording it into Edison because I don't want it to be like clicking at the end. All right, sounds good. So now we're just gonna go put it over here and this is our new melody. And then I actually do not want that ending of the reverb over there. Okay, I think I've got what I need and I'm just gonna start laying down some drums right now because I can't really think of any melodies off of this, but I'm thinking something with a lot of reverb on some keys, but we'll see about that. Also inside of this octave bonus bundle, there is a drum kit that I can use. I'm liking this kick bounce right here. So I will be using that one today. I also like this x-ray snare. <laughs> and then also since I'm already here, I'm gonna go and grab this rim snare right here as well. It might be a very perk heavy track. Oh man, this 808 is already super hard. The bad news? I want to try some other ones though. though. So far, bad news is my favorite one. Ooh. Ooh. Not for this kind of track though. This might actually sound kind of good too. And uh, just because I'm feeling lazy today, uh, the, the bad news 808 does not have the key in there and the MG Dirt does. So just because it's easier, I'm going to use that one. All right, and then just right here, just one right there, one right there, lower those velocities down a little bit. That's good. Another idea right here. I'm just gonna be hitting Control U and then bringing these down like that, but then also going to the fine pitch and bringing those down. Okay, that'll be good. I want that mainly for the ending over here when it sounds like the, t the track is dying down. That's good, mm-hmm, really nice. That's good, that's fine. I think here's one a very simple pattern. I'm just gonna go to every four steps, drag it on out, more like that. Okay, and then right here, I do want an open hat, which unfortunately this pack does not have one, but I have my favorite one over in the diamonds open hat. Number nine, and that's all that I'm gonna want. And then probably this one right here too, that is just gonna be going right here on every other one. I will say this, this pack makes it very easy to make trap music. Like it's been a breeze so far. 
That's perfect. That's all that I need. Should we start with the 808s before the kicks? Let's go and give that a try. And then just to be sure I'm in the right key, I'm gonna be right clicking this and then going to pitch corrector, which will bring up true tone right here. And everything seems to be pretty good inside of D. It does not look like there's anything else that's wrong with it. So I'm definitely inside of D. That didn't sound right, did it? Fuck, I didn't tune the 808. I went through all that trouble trying to make sure it was in the right <laughs> in the right note and I completely forgot to tune it after that But don't worry. We're gonna fix that in the final beat. Just bear with me through this little pattern that I'm about to create That's good like that perfect and then right here put that up where it's right there That's actually not bad <laughs> What the hell? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna taking a break here for a minute. Uh, when we come back, I do want to add a couple more melodies, probably those keys that I was talking about. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so I am back and um, I did a little something to the beat. The only real change that I made to this beat right now is going to be adding these, uh, these little 808s over here. And you're going to see it works perfectly with our melody. I'm only gonna be using that in the hook. I don't want that in the verse at all. It might get a little bit annoying too quickly. And then in between the last recording, I actually downloaded this uh, transition pack right here. It's like a little like glitch that it had and then the actual like whoosh right here. And that's gonna happen right before the drop. All right, so just real quick, let's go over here and go grab some Keyscape. And even before we make our melody, I wanna go put it onto a mixer track over here. And I'm just gonna be adding some reverb really quickly. I wanna make it sound very like dark. That's our melody. It's super simple, man. <laughs> Alright, but now that we made that melody, I do want to switch it on over to the Octave VST since that's what this video is about. That's already pretty nice. Also getting rid of that reverb right there because we already added our own. And then for the last part over here, just going to do that. Bring this on over to right there, and then we're gonna get rid of that one there, and that should be good to go just like that. There we go, just so the beat doesn't get too boring. It's got like that spookiness, like dark sort of feeling like I wanted it to. So here's our first eight bars right here, and I don't think that I want to add a pre-hook here, so I'm just gonna put that right there. I get to the last two bars, cut out everything else, like right there. Maybe just have the uh, the snare going. Okay, and then also we're gonna want the hi hats because those also have the fine pitch on them. <laughs> Now we're just gonna be getting rid of the little melodic 808s that I added over here. I only want that on the hook. I want it to sound different from the hook though, so what can I do other than just the melody? Um, we might just get rid of this rim shot right there. And then bring it back for right there. Chop that one off right there. I take that. That's nice. I'm done. All right, so um, what do we think of the Octave VST? I like it. I like it a lot, actually. It worked out pretty well, especially with all the little things you can do inside of there with the whole like, vinyl knob. You can tweak with the LFO a little bit or add a filter, reverb, everything like that. It has everything that you would expect a VST to have in this common day and age. And not just that, the bonus pack was kind of fire. Like, the drum samples in there are amazing. The melody loops and the MIDI are all in there, so... What really more could you want? But I do think that that's all that I'm gonna have for you guys here today. And as always, before I send you guys into the final beat, check the description down below for some helpful playlists that I've made for you guys, as well as the Simulation Haters Pack. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for more future content. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Welcome to the Simulation. Simulation.